Okay, everyone. Thank you guys so much for joining in today. What I'm going to show you how to do is to add images onto your Squarespace page. It's very simple. So what you got to do is log into your Squarespace, click on Edit Site, and then you're going to go to Pages. Very easy. And then you're going to select the page that you want to add images to. So uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to add a new page and do it from scratch. That way we can be on the same the same level here. Now what you have to pay attention to is do you want this page to be up here in your navigation bar or do you want it to be on its own separate page where it's not in your navigation bar? And one reason why you may not want it to be in your navigation bar is because if you had 20 web pages and they were all in your navigation bar, that would kind of muddy up things. It would make it confusing for whoever's coming to your web page. You might be throwing too much at them in your navigation bar. So um, I like to keep this to between five and maximum eight. I mean, you don't want to go very high on this. So anyway, let's do it. Let's add a linked a main navigation web page so it's going to show up here. All right. So you're going to click the plus icon and I'm going to make a blank uh, layout. You can go ahead and select images and gallery and kind of go from there if you would like, but I'm just going to go blank here. And I'm going to call this landscape. So from here, you're going to click on edit. And then you're going to click on one of these little icons here, depending on where you want it to go. I'm going to click here. And then here's some things, you know, you can type in image if you would like, just to see what your options are. But uh, you have image, and this will give you one single image. You have image layouts, and this is like uh, an image with an effect or with text. So you have your poster, which is an image with text. You have your card, which is an image with text on the, on the side of it. Uh, and then you can see the other ones there. Um, then you have a slideshow on the gallery, a carousel, and a grid, and a stack. And they are exactly what they sound like. The slideshow, there's multiple images. Uh, there's a large one, and there's little ones underneath, and then the carousel and grid. I'm going to go with the grid. That's the one that I prefer. I like the look of it. Uh, and then you can click over here on des design, and you will see what aspect ratio you want them to be. So if you want them to be 3 by 2 you can see how they have changed. You can select this, whatever you want it to be. It's very, very simple. Uh, I will go with um, 3 by 4 uh, just for now. And you can see here where it says crop images. What it'll do is it'll take the image that you upload and it will make them fit the aspect ratio. You can do that if you would like. Um, or if you don't want to do that, then of course uncheck it. And there are some options here that you can just go through. I'm going to select row a uh, 2 row. Uh, and the reason I select two row is just because you want your images to be large enough so people can see them and appreciate them, obviously. So let's go with that. There's some other options here you can play with if you want. And let's go to content and then click upload images. You want to go to your images that you want to upload. Now, keep in mind, if your image file size is really large, that's going to make your website slower. So think about it. You're uploading a 17 meg photo. That's a huge photo. But, now I know some of you photographers out there are going, yeah, but what about RAW? Well, upload JPEG to your website um, and make sure that they're underneath a meg. I like to stick around 500 kilobytes. So I don't ever like to go above one meg unless it's just you have to go above one meg to keep the detail. Other than that, you want to keep it low, keep it small. That way your website's fast and easy to use. People aren't trying to click on a web page and it takes forever to load. So if you notice, this picture right here, this uh, looks like a lighthouse, is 2.5 megs. This one, 3.78. Where's that one that was like really big? Let's see, maybe the mountain. Nope, of course, it's the last one. Nope. Where was it at? That was weird. Anyway, we'll just go with this. This one's 2.53 megs. That's kind of str that's kind of a little too big for my liking as far as the photograph uh, as far as the photo size goes. So let's go. I've co I've already compressed them. If you look at this one, this one is 530. 
I went into a program and uh, I went ahead and I compressed each one of these photos. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to upload images. I'm going to go to my compressed photos. I'm going to select them all and then I'm going to open them. And after a second, they're going to load in. Wow, that took a long time. However, my internet was being a little weird. However, now it is completed. They are loaded in. And I want you to I want you to see this because one of these is compressed and one isn't compressed. I mean, it it is really hard to tell the difference in these two images. But one's compressed and one isn't. And the reason I showed you this is because um, you want your web page to be really quick and snappy. And when you have an image that is compressed versus uncompressed, it'll help your it'll help your website be fast, uh, help people load in quicker. You got to think people sometimes load it on their cell phone. They may not have the strongest data connection. They may not have the strongest Wi-Fi connection. So uh, think about the people who are going to be using your web page, and that's that's the most important thing is your audience. So. You want to think of them as you're as you're building this. However, this right here is what it looks like, and I'm going to go ahead and delete the one that is not compressed. And there it is. You hit apply, you hit save, and now you have a web page with images. Now, if you don't like the way this looks, for example, here you can see this one's a different size than this one. And this some of this is going to be on the fly because I expected it just to work, <laughs> but it didn't. So what you can do is you can click crop images, and it'll make them all the same size. You can change this to be square if you want. That looks pretty nice too. You can change it to be three by two standard, but I prefer the vertical. I think it looks the best. You can also click uh, show title below the image. Um, I'm not sure what that does. I guess it's just if you name the, the, the photo, it will actually show underneath what it is. Um, and of course, here's the image editor. You can make adjustments here. There's so many things you can do in Squarespace. But that is the basics. All right, that is the basics of Squarespace images. Click apply and save. So now, whenever you go to uh, MarianaPhotography.com, you can go to uh, her web page, and you'll see up on the top, Landscape is live. Click on Landscape, and there are the images. Very, very simple, very easy. So that concludes the tutorial. If you have any more questions about this, please leave them in the comments below, and I will try to help you as much as possible. But otherwise, hope you have a good day. I'll see you.